This video is going to look at Murdoch's serial position curve study. Now your specification states you've got to know about the primacy and recency effects in recall, so the effects of serial position, and also Murdoch's serial position curve study. And because it's named on your spec, you've got to know this study inside out. So the primacy effect. Now the primacy effect refers to the fact that items at the beginning of a list are in a primary position, they're seen first, and we're more likely to remember them. So why does this happen? Well, the whole idea is that with the first words you see in a list, you have increased rehearsal time. You go over them again and again in your head as you're reading those other words in a list. And that information then goes from your short-term memory into your long-term memory. We've also got something called the recency effect. Now, the recency effect refers to the, if it was giving you a big list of words, the words at the end of the list, the most recent, are more likely to be remembered compared to words in the middle. So why does this happen? Well, it's believed that those words at the end of the list, when you're asked to recall them, they're still in your short-term memory, so you're still able to access those words. Now we're going to have a quick look at Murdoch's serial position study. So the aim of this whole study was to prove the existence of a short and long-term memory. And what Murdoch did, so Murdoch had all the participants and they were given a list of 20 words, at a rate of one word a second until all 20 words had been presented. Then the participants had to recall as many as words as they could within 90 seconds. And the test was repeated with the same participants over 80 times um, using different word lists every single time. And what they found was that the words at the end of the list and the beginning were recalled the best. The words at the end of the list became known as a recency effect. The words at the beginning of the list became known as the primacy effect. And the words in the middle of the list were least remembered. So here's a little bit of a graph you can see here. The words at the beginning of the list most remembered. Then there's a dip at the middle. And then the words at the end of the list were also remembered quite well. So what's the conclusion? Well, it shows us that short-term memory and long-term memory are separate stores. And that the words in the middle of the list weren't remembered because they weren't stored in the short-term memory or they weren't stored in the long-term memory either.